What's up guys, this is Film Talk with Joey and let's talk Pete's Dragon. Today we will be talking about Pete's Dragon. I saw it yesterday, last night. It was the first day that it came out and let's start with the genre. It's fantasy adventure and it lasted an hour and 43 minutes. Let's read the logline. Mr. McCam, a woodcarver, delights local children with stories of a mysterious dragon that lives deep in the woods of the Pacific Northwest. His daughter Grace believes that there are just tall tales until she meets Pete, a 10 year old orphan who says he lives in the woods with a giant friendly dragon. With help from a young girl named Natalie, Grace sets out to investigate if this fantastic claim can be true. This has been the best Disney movie this year. Here, I'll tell you why. First of all, let's start with the cast. Bryce Howard, which was Grace. She's the one, the ranger that works in the forest. I think she's beautiful and I think she did her role really well. She's a great actress and I've seen her in other several movies. She's really classy and that's what I like about her. She has this personality of just, she's just so graceful and delicate and that's what I like about her personality. Let's talk about Robert Redford. Robert, he's been in so many movies. I've seen him in so many movies and he's uh, Grace's father. He's the one that saw the dragon first and he, he plays a really good role. He's really chill in the movie, not too dramatic. Pete is Oaks Fegley. He's so cute with the long hair and I think he did a great job. I really hope he wins an award for the movie because he played it really well. I think he had a lot of charisma in the movie, a lot of personality. I think he did it perfectly well, I think. Let's talk about Wes Bentley. Wes Bentley is Grace's husband and he's really handsome. I've seen him in other movies, I can't recall which ones, but he was pretty cool. He was more into the trying to be the superhero, nothing bad to say about him. Carl Urban, he was like pretty much like the villain in the movie and I didn't like him much, not because he didn't play well um, for his role, but he was just, I just didn't like him. He, he was just like the ignorant one and I didn't like him throughout the movie, but that's what his character was all about. Una Lawrence, which is Natalie, the little girl, I liked her. She was very mysterious and she was always trying to investigate things and always trying to think out the box when it came to the movie and I really liked her. Those are the main characters in the movie. Let's talk about costumes. Race had the ranger, typical like ranger uniform. Everyone else had like this, they looked country and besides Pete of course. Pete of course just looked dirty with the long hair and all that stuff. And then towards the end, he had shorter hair. He looked like completely different. The one thing that I didn't like about the movie was the music. Although I do understand that the movie was in a super country place and you know, you know where there's a lot of forest but just the music was like some of the tracks were very depressing for certain parts of the movie and they just didn't go together in my opinion there were certain scenes that looked very hopeful and the music that went with it was just like something really bad happened when nothing bad happened and when it came to the plot of the movie it was really good it was basically them trying to figure out trying to find Pete trying to see if a dragon existed and I really like the graphics when it came to the dragon he looked like super realistic and I'm pretty sure that other people that saw the movie can say that Elliot which was the dragon reminds you of the dragon from the never ending story I remember watching the never ending story and that dragon was the cutest thing ever and Elliot in this movie the dragon he was so cute and he turned more green when he was touched and he would just like his facial ex expressions were like a little puppy like it reminded me of my dog after the movie now i want a dragon <laughs> and then of course um when it came to the ending of the movie it was a tear-jerking moment because you know everything ends well i don't want to give you any spoilers but it is worth the money go watch it i don't see anything bad towards the movie i think i went there just to mostly enjoy the movie because it is a disney movie and i love Disney so I felt like a little child watching it so I really enjoyed it the editing was great the cinematography was great the graphics was great there's of course there's not much of special effects I give it a 5 out of 5 so I think you guys should watch it check it out go take the kids go take your husband go take your wife it's worth it so that's that and on to the next movie peace guys it's a revolution.